of stars are you shining just for me city of stars oh there's so much that i can't see I felt it from the first embrace I share with you That now our dreams they finally come true So I loved it. Um, <laughs> Do you ever have those times where you see a really good movie or like a really artsy movie and it just like it just changes your perspective on things? Which is weird, because I know this is, is like a temporary thing, like I'm not going to feel any different tomorrow, probably. But like, directly after the movie I walked around the mall, but it was just in a completely different headspace than probably everyone else there. There's someone walking by, I'm like, I'm not talking. I mean, it was, I don't know, there's just something, this movie has like, changed me for the day. Like, does anyone else have that thing where their personality is like, 90% the movie they just watched? So like, for the next day I'm going to be like, just dancing around the house and feeling like, some sort of Hollywood movie star that I'm not. It's chill, I'm going to drive home, and then I'll talk to you then. Okay, let's go. I've composed my thoughts a bit more now, uh, so I can maybe speak coherently on the movie and what I thought. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I loved it. I, d I loved it. It was so good. The one word that I can, like the only word I can think of to describe it is just beautiful in every sense. The cinematography was gorgeous. The singing and the music were beautiful. The story was beautiful. The message of it and just, ugh. All the songs, like the musical, like actual singing songs, were great. Um, everyone did a great job singing them. Um, I'm a sucker for a good dance scene, so whenever there was a, like, a dance sequence, uh, I was just totally into it. Like that scene, and I don't know the name of the song, but when uh, Sebastian and me are dancing, like the first dance sequence they have together, uh, you know, it, it's great. It's amazing. I love it. The entire movie is just so beautiful. The shots and the colors and everything is gorgeous. Not only the actual singing music, but the score was great. Like it just, like it just spoke to something in me, and it, ugh. And yeah, and the message was just so good. It was funny because I, I follow this one actress um, on YouTube. She was in, been in a bunch of web series and stuff, and she did this um, series on her channel where she vlogged an entire year of her audition process. So it was interesting to see what smaller actors trying to get into more things go through to get a job. She filmed how many auditions she went to um, and then how few callbacks she got from that and how much time she spends you know preparing for the audition and memorizing the lines and all that work for like nothing in the end and getting very few jobs during that entire year and putting all this work into it. So it was interesting to see that in the movie um, because I kind of knew that was what it was like for smaller actors trying to break into the industry. I really liked watching all of Mia's audition scenes because I know how real that is for some people. So the entire message through the movie of following your dreams and doing what you want to do and how sometimes you feel like you're not good enough and the dream that you've had for your entire life isn't something that you can do and you have to go and you know maybe figure out something else that you want to do and how Mia has all those doubts about if this is really what she should be doing. I felt that before. I felt like, like I talked about it before in my inadequacy video where I said that I've always wanted to be an author since I was little, but like now I'm maybe thinking that I'm not the best writer. But yeah, to me, Mia's story was just kind of, you know, accepting that not everyone is going to like what you do, but that if you like it enough and you keep trying hard enough, you can achieve your goals. I also love the theme in the movie of, you know, working really hard to get where you want to go. Um, and that, you know, being an artist isn't easy, uh, or at least, at least being successful as an artist isn't easy, and that you have to really work at it. And that things might not always go your way and things might not always turn out perfectly, but that's okay, things will turn out somehow. And that if you do try hard enough and you do keep working at your goals, you can achieve them and get to where you want to be. It might not be in the way you expect or the way you think that you're going to get there originally, but it'll happen. Probably. <laughs> what I really loved about it was just how realistic it was. Like all of the conversations and situations that happened didn't really feel manufactured. Um, like some movie scripts do, like you can tell when people are talking that people don't actually talk like that. But when um, me and Seb were talking about anything or arguing or anything, it just it felt so natural and so real, like something that would actually happen, people, things people would say. I don't even know what else to say that hasn't been said about the movie already. It's just gorgeous, it's beautiful, I love it. 
anyway, just to sum up my thoughts, it's a beautiful movie in, in all respects. If you haven't seen it yet, please do. Please go. Um, it's great. And like, okay, yes, it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. If you don't like musicals, if you don't like artsy type movies about artists, then you probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> so yes, go see La La Land, please. Go see it, please. Okay, so it's been a day since I uh, did all those videos talking about La La Land and saw La La Land and everything. <laughs> I said that really weirdly. I was like, La La Land. Ah. I think when I was describing how I felt about it, I was almost like trying to convince myself that I liked it as much as I did. Here, let me explain. This movie was so hyped up for me, especially. Like, I just heard everyone on social media talking about it and saying it was like the best thing they'd ever seen and how much it affected them. So I went into this movie with really, really high expectations, and I was terrified that I wasn't going to like it as much as I wanted to. So the whole movie, I was sitting there just so focused on liking it that every time there was a nice shot of something, like some really good cinematography, I was like, mental note, that was a really good thing they did there. Or I was like concentrating so hard on liking the music and the songs that I, I think I was just concentrating too hard on trying to like it that I didn't enjoy it as much as I would have if I had just gone in with no expectations and just let it like wash over me. And that's not to say I didn't like it because I really really liked it. It's just that it doesn't resonate as much with me as it did with other people apparently. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like there is. Like I feel like I should have liked it more because of my interest in the things that I like and I was just expecting to like it. I mean it's a musical. It's a really pretty looking musical. What is there not to like about it for me? Like I love musicals. I love music. I love any- I love movies about art which is exactly what this was. And I liked it a lot. It's just not up there with my like top favorite movies yet. But I feel like maybe if I saw it again, I'd have a different perspective and I could just go in and enjoy it more if I saw it a second time. I don't know. I think I just need to concentrate on not trying to like it and just feeling the way I feel about it and not trying to project more of my feelings into it that I don't have for it, you know? Like so many people have said that this just affected them so much and it didn't necessarily do that for me. I liked it, but it didn't like, you know, like affect me, like rip my heart out. But other things have done that. Like when I think about the Lord of the Rings movies, that's how I feel about them. When I think about Hamilton, that's like the best piece of art in a long time that I have discovered. So like I just realized that a lot of people can like a thing and I don't have to like it as much as they do because there are things that I love and am very, very passionate about that other people don't like as much and doesn't resonate as much with them and that's fine. I don't know why I just am trying to learn this lesson now, like I know that. I knew that going in. I think it's just, when I was talking before, all the points that I brought up and the things that I liked are still true. I think I was just trying to be more enthusiastic about it than I was. Um, but maybe not, I don't know. I feel like I just need to see it again and then I'll have a better opinion. I'm just rambling now. No one even cares anymore. So yeah, let me know if you want me to do more like vloggy type videos like this. And I mean like actual vlogging, like taking my camera out to places I'm going. So I don't actually go a lot of places or do a lot of things other than like school and work and you don't want to see that because it's boring. Um, but if I do, I might make a habit of like taking my camera with me. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching this and for listening to me ramble and I will see you some other time with another video. Bye! I'm a real vlogger now because I do that. Okay.